Hi folks, Jim Gam here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TGC 2019. Now we've got another RCR for you guys today, another real course recreation, and this is by Major High and it is Ford Plantation. I've never heard of this course. I uh, haven't played it yet, so we're going to have a, a little try here. So we're going to go with the Black Tees, uh, 7,584 yards. I'm going to keep this on default, uh, so the fairways are normal, the greens are normal, the green speed is medium fast. We'll keep it on pin set number one. Now let's get cracking. Now usually I like to give you a little bit of history about the course, but the amount of history this um, course has, it goes all the way back to colonial times, and then through the American Civil War and things like that, even before the course was built, until the time when Henry Ford came to the, 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 the area. And that's why it's probably called Ford Plantation. I didn't read all the history myself. As I said, that's steeped in history. So I'll put a link in the description about it uh, for the course. And you can have a look at the history yourselves. Because I wouldn't know where to start. Because there's just so much reading to be done. <laughs> okay, now let's have a little look around here. Originally, it was a uh, Ford Plantation. It was, a, it was a rice, I think. They were cultivating rice. Uh, here we go, it's like the rice paddies here, I suppose. And uh, nice lighting, I must admit. And here you go with the little practice area. Very nice. Nice big clubhouse. Okay, let's just have a little zoom about, have a little look around. I do like the the courses with a lot of water on it, I must admit. And there's a lot of water on this. Must have good drainage. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Looks really good. Let's get a, a view from up the top, shall we? Just to have a look, see what we're dealing with here. Ah, it goes all the way over there as well. I didn't see that bit there. Let's just have a little zoom down here. Oh, a nice little house there as well. Oh, these cart paths done really well. I quite like that. With the edging on it, very nice. You don't usually get that, they just look usually like painted on type of thing. Nice planting around the water here as well. Okay, let's get back on the tee and we shall get started, shall we? Put the HUD back on. Oh, camera settings, HUD. There we go. Okay. Okay, so hole one, 350 yards, par four, stroke index 12. It should just be able to aim up just to the left hand side, of the, the right hand side of this left bunker here. The wind should push it around for us. Okay, I pulled it a little bit left, but the wind should straighten up. Oh, nice big drive, 319 yards. Okay, a little bit of a left to right slope here, 104 yards, playing 105. So let's take a little bit off of this, shall we? Well, let's have a look at the green first. I don't want to take too much off it because there's a little slope right there. I think I took enough off it. It should be okay. Okay, that's a nice strike. Oh, that's pulling right though. Quite a bit. Almost on the fringe. That should leave us a nice little putt for the birdie here. So what have we got? 167 speed, so it's about medium. And nice birdie to start off with. Okay, hole two. 396 yards, par four, stroke index 14. 
Okay, looks like it's going around the water here. Nice planting at the beginning of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, nice big bunker that all the way around. Okay, pin. Oh, we've got quite a few slopes around that green. Pretty short hole though, 396, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, just over 300 yards, so that should leave us a full uh, wedge shot into the green here. Whoa, 171. Actually, more than a wedge shot. Okay, 171. Actually, playing 172. Got a little bit of wind there as well. But just down off that little touch, can't rack some of that wind. That's looking not bad. Depends on distance, come on. Oh no, it didn't make it up the hill. It didn't make it up the slope. So that's going to be a chip. Okay, 10 yards, two feet up. We'll stick with the lob wedge. Now I don't want the full power here. Oh, that just slipped past the, the right hand side there. So, got a little putt with a par. Now, this is a major high. He's actually his very first RCR he's been designing since, well, way back in, what, 2014, uh, beginning the TGC1. Uh, five years, as he said, he's been designing for, and it's his first attempt at an RCR. And I tell you what, from the looks of it, he's done a cracking job here. I do love that lighting. And the cart path as well. That's uh, do like the edging he's got around the cart path. I don't think that's like a natural thing. I think he has to actually put that in himself. Because when you see a lot of the cart paths, it's just like... That's look, that look like sand, I think. Sandy texture on it, yeah. That a bunker, not cart path. That's <laughs> a bloody bunker. That says cart path. Yeah. Ah, there's a cart path there, look. Yeah, look, it's got like a, a nice little edging sort of around the cart path there. Unless that is like one of the textures of the cart path, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's get on with this. Okay, hole 3, 506 yards, par 5, stroke index 10. I want to play down this sort of right hand side here, just so we can probably reach the green too. I've pulled out a little bit left. Should be okay, I think. Oh, that's going right down the middle of the fairway. I wanted to be, oh, nice little kick there. That's what I wanted to be over this right hand side. Nice 301 yard drive. We should be able to reach this green in two now. Oh, no, we're not. 301 yards. Okay, so I'm going to actually drop this down. It's at 253, so that leaves us about 50 yards in. And the shortest pitch is 57, so I don't want to be too close to it. Let's try that, that'll do it. We'll go with the one iron. Oh, I've hit a slow as well, and I've pulled that away to the right. But you know, with the slope, it pushes the ball out to the, the right. And I pulled it to the left, so it should be okay. Yep, that should be fine. Now, hopefully that's left as a full pitch in. It certainly has, that's good. So I'm going to put a bit of loft on this, because you know you get a good bit of run on the pitches. Quite a bit slope there as well, right to left slope, so I'm aiming it way right of the pin here. And you get the perfect, perfect out. And we get it, so that should be good. That's not bad at all. That should leave a nice little tap in with a birdie. Okay, off to a good start. <clears> okay, <throat> hole four, 144 yards, par three, stroke index six. Uh, this looks like a nice hole. Again, that lighting, beautiful. 
You like all the sort of weeds and the planting down in the water. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice retaining wall as well. Let's have a real look around here, shall we? I feel like the, the sort of different colours and that that he's got down here as well. Oh, keep thinking I've got a camera on so I can sort of go down with the, the triggers and that, but I can't. Yeah, it's nice looking that is. Yeah, like I said, nice retaining wall. All the way down. Very well done. Okay, what did I say? 167. A little bit of wind. Four mile an hour. 167. A bit of loft on this. Quite a bit of loft actually. Oh, that's a nice strike. Hopefully I didn't put too much loft on it though. Oh, that's not bad. Rolled on quite a bit. So it's going to leave us at least 12 feet, I think. 14 feet. Pretty flat putt though. Two inches up. Nice one, get another birdie. Okay, hole five, 330 yards, par four, stroke index, 16. I've got a few courses to do in the next couple of days. I've got um, Copperhead at Innisbrook Resort for the, the Valspar Championship, which starts on Thursday. So I'm gonna try and get that done as well. And I've got another, the new designer, he asked me to have a look at his course. It's a, a Lynx course. It looks pretty good actually from what I've seen on the screenshots. So I'm going to have to get that done as well. So I've got quite a few videos to get done in the next couple of days here. Okay, 387 to the pin. Again, flying down this right hand side here. That wind should just keep it in for me. Hey, well, that's a nice sort of big bridge there. Yeah, I do like the way it goes all the way across there. It's huge, isn't it? Again, lovely planting all the way around here. That light that just comes through the trees there, look at that. The old god rays, beautiful. I know I'll go on a bit. <laughs> I should just play the game. But I do like to show the causes off. That's what I'm here for. Okay, that should be good. I said that this game, if it wasn't for the community, this, this, this game would have died long ago. It's got a great community this game has. Okay, 95. Okay, we've got 94 with the lob wedge. I'm going to downloft that to counteract some of that wind. Okay, a little bit of a pull left, but that should be good. Oh, that is absolutely spot on. Look at that. So it's another little tap in. Okay, hole six, 376 yards, par four, stroke index four. Again, you've got that sort of light coming through the trees there, just as the flyby took over. It's like a very sort of early morning, it sort of feels like, with that sort of god rays coming through the trees. Okay, pretty thin up here, but it should be good. Oh, but is that tree going to get in the way? It might. I'm going to try and aim down this left wall. Well, I was going to try and aim down, right down the left hand side there. That tree might just get in the way there. So I'm going to put a little bit of draw on this. Oh, I don't like doing, doing draw and fade on because I haven't really worked out how much it turns. That's turning quite nice. Should be okay. Oh, it sort of still pushed its way over to the right-hand side there. I think I should be able to get around this tree. <coughs> oh, right at the edge of it. Oh, we're going with the pitching wedge. Pitching wedge should go over that, I reckon. 133. Six mile an hour against us, though. So I'm going to down loft this pitching wedge. Yeah, pitching wedge should go over that, no problem, I reckon. Oh, right over the gap there. 
If I went over the middle of that tree, it would have hit it, I think. Oh, I down off of it just a little bit too much. Just went past the pin. Flew right over the top. Okay, got a little bit of left to right and a little bit of right to left. So I'm just going to hit this kind of straight, I reckon. So I hope you've enjoyed the, the Players' Championship over the weekend. Nice to see Rory win again. Hey, well, it was nice to see um, Jim Furyk up there. Yeah, really good. Oh, seven, three hundred and ninety yards, par four, stroke index eight. Again, there's that big bridge. I think that's the same. No, it's not the same one, I don't think. It's a really nice looking course. Like I said, I've never heard of this before, the Ford Plantation course. Steeped in history. <coughs> well, the surrounding land is anyway that it's built on. Okay, nice big open fairway, this one. Let's just smash one right down the middle. Should be good. Nice big drive. Just under 320 yards, right in the middle of the fairway. Should set us up nice for approach. 160. Uh, I think 148 is going to be not enough, I don't think. Well, it might not. Uh, it might make that. Yeah, I'm going to go with a. I'm going to go with this 9 iron. Let's just down loft it a little touch. That window help it as well. Oh, no. Help that. Since I pushed down. Ah. Oh. Yep, that was my own mistake. It's like I said before many times, I can actually tell most people can't play this game whether you've hit a fast, a slow, a very slow. I, I felt that as soon as I pushed forward. Okay. Let's go down to the, the lob wedge. And uh, we should be able to hit this... Full back. It should be around about that distance, I reckon. That's not too bad. That should give us a reasonable little putt for the part. Okay, hole 8, 171 yards, par 3, stroke index 2, playing over the water here, massive bunker going all the way around to the right hand side of the green, that pin certainly don't want to be to the right, I'm going to have to try and go to the left of the pin here, 199, 183, yeah I'm going to try and go over this way a little bit, Oh, that's a nice strike. Now, is it going to make it up? Oh, yes, just. It's not too bad. I'll take that. Give us a putt for the birdie. Okay, 16 feet. <coughs> Excuse me. One inch down. Got a little bit of left to right movement here. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, hoo, hoo, just shaved the left edge. Yeah, I didn't want to hit that too hard there because it was downhill. Okay, let's take the par there. I don't mind taking pars on the, the sort of longish par threes. Pretty tough long par threes. Let's try and get close to the hole. Okay, hole 9, 466 yards, par 5, stroke index 18. So, easiest hole on the course. Very short par 5, 466. But that um, that pin, that green is covered nicely with them bunkers there. So I think, ooh, depends how close we get. We could probably run it in and down the slope, I reckon. Let's have a look. I right, should be able to smash one right over the top of this bunker, yeah. Oh, hits a fast and a slow. Ah, that's the terrible swing. Slow fast. Well, they should sort of cancel each other out. But with the slow backswing, it takes a little bit of distance off. Okay, 300 yards, so not too bad. Leaves us 235. Oh, 230, 260, 235. 
four. That's going to be way too much. Okay, I'm actually going to drop it out over here and try and get a pitch in. I uh, don't want to be, as you see, there's this big slope right here, and then there's one here. So I want to be on this flat area from about here somewhere. Should do it, I reckon. Now, hopefully that's going to leave us a full pitch in. If not, I can sort of pitch to the top of the hill and hopefully the slope will take it down to the pin. Okay, I'll leave the 67. Yeah, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Oh, what I might do is pitch it to here. Let that slope take it down, I reckon. 57, what's that going to take us? It's going to take us right to the beginning. Yeah, I think that's. I think I'm going to try that. Oh, this this might not work out, but I'm going to try it. Oh, it's a fast. No. Should pull it round towards the hole, though. Now, if I didn't hit that fast, it probably would have hit the top of that slope and just rolled down nicely. But that's not bad. We'll take that. Yeah, that that slope just sort of brought it down towards the pin for us. Okay, eight feet, two inches down. Got a bit of turn left to right here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, I knew it as soon as I, as soon as I hit it. <coughs> so, well, that didn't work out, did it? So that's going to be a par on a par five, and it's a bloody short hole as well. <laughs> now, what I could have done, I probably could have went for that in two and used the bank at the back there, in the back of the pin, in hindsight. But, yeah. Oh, 10, 329 yards par four, stroke index 15. Yeah, I just want to say a big thanks as well, guys. My subscriber base is just sort of creeping up all the time. Yeah, many thanks. Hey, oh, 10, 329 yards. I said with more subscribers, the, the sort of more people watch these courses and gives a little bit of recognition to the designers. That's what this channel is all about. Just get some nice courses out there for you to have a look at if you just want to play them. Now, I do like interacting with you guys on the, um, the channel as well in the discussions. As I said, I'm always trying to reply to every Oh, what have we got here? 92. Yep, as I said, I always try to reply to every comment that's made on the channel. Okay, 94 yards, log wedge. 92. Got a little bit of wind. I'm just putting a tiny, tiny little touch of loft on this. Oh, that's a bit of a wonky swing. Okay, distance was nice. Look at the birdie. Okay. Hole 11, 505 yards. Par 4, stroke in next 7. That's a great looking hole, this one. Love the big body of water, this one. Huge, huge fairway. Is that a shared fairway, I wonder? It looks like the tees are coming back that way. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a shed fairway. Okay. Alright, we should be able to cut this a little bit here. It should be good. Nice drive. As long as it gets over the top of that rough. That's fine. Okay, 314 yards. I do like them bunkers he's got there as well. It's a huge steep face on that bunker there. You wouldn't want to be in that. That's something as well. Hopefully when they do the TGC 2020, I'm kind of hoping they move over to a different engine. What are they doing? Give us the pop bunkers that we need. Oh, this is quite a distance, 240. 
I'm going to go in with the, the four hybrid here. It should be okay. Okay, just hit before the green, so that's going to run up nice. It's going to actually leave us a little bit short. That leaves us oof, 16 feet, 2 inches up. Pretty flat though. A little bit of a right to left up by the hole. Oh, and we drop it. Okay, hole 12, 138 yards, par 3, stroke index 9. There you go, you've got sort of the, the rice sort of paddies there to the left. Nice sort of little plant, plant there at the back of the green, with the rocks and the flowers and stuff, and the ferns. I do like the way he's, done. he's got the colours all mixed up as well, sort of breaks it up a bit. There you go, this is, a, this is where the, the rice plantation comes from, in the, in the Ford plantation. Okay, 193, he's playing 192. Okay, 183 with a 6 iron. I'm going to put a bit of loft on this, even though it, it's not going to stop it much, but it's just going to bring it down from a higher height. And hopefully it will land a bit softer. Where's a fast again? <clears throat> so where is this going to leave us? Oh, this is going to be a huge putt. Oh, it might. Oh, it's okay. It's going to roll off. So that's going to be a chip. Okay, 16 yards. Two feet up. I'm going to go down to the 10 yards. The sand, yeah, the sand wedge. That should give us run about full distance, I reckon. That's not too bad. That's a beautiful picture, that one. Look at that. The light coming over there as well. Dead trees. Okay, so that's a, a par. Yep, I think that's a par. Okay, hole 13, 395 yards par 4, stroke index 3. Again, nice planting saw all the way up this, this right edge of the fairway, the left side of this lake. Huge uh, body of water around this course. I wonder if they do anything else on the on the course, like fishing and things like that. You'd imagine so, with the amount of water there's there. there must be some good fish and stuff in there. Yeah, I know I said I, um, I wasn't gonna... Let me just put this over here. What I was gonna do... Have a look. Let me take a shot and then I'll have a quick look. Sorry about that. Bringing the course up now. Uh, the web page. Okay. Just as well I wasn't looking at something that shouldn't have been in it. <laughs> okay. 156. 148. Oh, that is. Look at that. Oh, that is nasty. That is. I'm going to have to try and. Do you know what? I'm actually going to go long here. I, do not want to be in that hole. I'm going to put a little bit of loft on this 8 iron, but I'm going to go long. Well, I hope I go long. Do not want to land in that hole. Yep, that's fine. Just go past the pin. Oak. Oh, this is a tough, tough, tough one. This is wow. Okay, got a lot of right to left movement there. So it goes up this hill here, four inches up. 
up to about there. Then it starts going back down. Just going to have to aim up here somewhere, I reckon. Let's get the distance right first. That actually says only one inch up there, but you're having to go uphill. Oh, I reckon about there. Oh, that is so close. Just shave that left-hand edge. That was a nice putt, actually. <laughs> oh, great looking hole, this one. Hole 14, 372 yards, par 4, stroke index 13. I was trying to find, I was looking on the, the web page for the course, but as I said, there's just so much history in it. I'm just going to read a little bit there, but uh, just too much. <laughs> as I said, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to have a look at. Okay, let's change the camera angle. Some bright sun there coming up. You could hardly see the ball. Okay, that's going to leave us on an upslope. So I think um, after reading some of this, it's actually in, in Georgia. Okay. 157, so that's playing. Whoa, 158. I reckon the 8 iron should be good with that wind. Oh, that's going to be a little bit short. Oh, and right. How did I go that far right? Oh, I didn't check my line, did I? I wonder if I had a little slope left to right there. Okay, 26 feet. One inch up. Got a bit of a turn left to right here. Oh, that's going to be a par. Oh, a little string of pars here on this back nine. KO 15, 415 yards, par 4 stroke index 11. Yeah, so this history goes all the way back to 1733. Like I say, it's from the colonial era. Then so the history goes into the Civil War and the Roaring Twenties. And it's all about Henry Ford as well, after it gets to the Twenties. Yeah, it's a good read. Okay, hole 15. Nice big open wide fairway here. A huge bunker just goes, sort of splits them fairways up. What fairway is that? Is that the one that came up earlier, I think? Yep. Okay, let's just try and smash one down the middle here. Oh, slow backswing again. So that's going to take a little bit of distance off. Yeah, so I hope you guys um, are ready to watch a, a few courses because I'm, I'm going to be pumping them out uh, at least three in the next day or two. Okay, 180. So it's playing about 182. We've got 183 with a six iron, about four mile an hour wind against us. So that should actually slow it down for us. Should be pretty good, I reckon. Okay, a little bit of a pull to the left. That should be okay because it was a big slope to the right and I didn't want to hit that. There we go. That's fine. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I didn't want to go too far to the right there. Quite glad I actually pulled that a bit. Yeah, 11 feet. Oh, I thought that was just going to slip past the left side there, but that's okay. K hole 16, 526 yards, par 5, stroke index 5. Again, nice huge fairways on this course. This is why, I mean, I know it brings the scoring down, I know that, but 
I like RCRs because with a lot of the fantasy courses, they sort of make these snaky fairways that sort of thin right down at the landing zone. And they always plop a couple of bunkers on your landing zones. And most courses aren't like that. I mean, you should have, your bunkers should be around here. And, you know what I mean? If you do, go way off course sort of thing. That's why I do like my RCRs. And this has got a very, very natural looking feel to it, this one. I mean, I know when you're, yeah, you're open courses and all that, they, they like to play the tight and the fast and the hard firm settings and that. But I like, um, I do like courses like this. You're not having to think too much and, you know, nice sort of easy, not easy, nice relaxing, that's what I'm trying to say, round of golf, I reckon. Now, oh, I'm hitting this bloody slow backswing quite a lot. I think I should have pulled back a bit there, actually. Oh, look at that. That is so close to that water. 89. Jeez, that's playing 92. I'm going to go with a normal shot here. I'm going to bring it down. Where are we? Ah, there we go. Okay, 75 to 82%. Okay, that's playing. Ooh, a little bit of a slope there as well. So I'm just going to down loft this. Can I make it? Nope, it's going to be short. Yeah, I should have went up a club. Put a bit of loft on, I reckon. But I'm going to have a chip in here. It's another par 5. I've seen them muck a lot of the par 5s up lately. Okay, we're down to the, the lob wedge. I don't want full power here. Oh, look at that. I just said that as well from the rough. We'll get a nice little chip in here. And we got it. Chip in. <laughs> A hole 17, 147 yards par 3, stroke index 17. We got quite a few little bunkers dotted around the green here. Okay, 175, playing around 176. I've got a bit of wind against this as well, so I'm gonna actually just hit this dead with 6 iron. There's a little bit of a bank to the left of the pin now. Oh no! I need to stop talking a couple of seconds before I take my shot. <laughs> oh, that's going to go in the bunker. I do it all the time. Continue talking just as I'm taking my backswing. It sort of puts you off um, in your downswing. And you stop doing that. Okay. Let's go down to 24. We'll go to the lob bridge. That should be good. Now, if we get the perfect, perfect, that should be pretty good distance, I reckon. Oh, very slow. That should run up. Oh no, that's one stop dead. Usually get a bit of running with a flop. Okay, 12 feet, four inches down. Got a little left to right movement here. Just a little tap. Turn, turn. It didn't turn. <laughs> Gonna be a bogey. Ah, I was hoping to get a bogey free round there as well, but hey ho. Hey, on to the final hole. Hole 18, 420 yards, par 4, stroke index 1. So hole 18 is the hardest hole in the course. Tell you what, it's nice that they sort of kept that sort of thing in the course, the, the sort of rice fields. It sort of adds to its character, I reckon. Well, it keeps his history as well. Okay, a little bit thin up here. So I'm going to try and... Okay, nice drive. Finish with. That should be good. That's not bad at all. 295 yards. Jesus, 236 to the pin now. I think we should be good with the one iron. Oh, look at that. Green again. Oh, that looks nasty. Uh, 
if that hits the right hand side that's going to pull it way over to the right of the green it is look at that oh there it goes oh why they just got a little bit more to the left there a couple of feet and it would have been fine that's not too bad where it is though that's not too bad okay it's pretty not bad looking putt actually 19 feet should turn back in come on oh there just a little bit too much pace on that one so that's going to be a par for the final hole so there you go guys hope you enjoyed that that is the ford plantation and that is by major high very nice course i really really enjoyed that as i said i mean nice big open fairways yeah i, I, I like courses like that i really do uh, so it's a nice relaxing round of golf. So don't forget guys, give this a play. Very, very well done course. As I said, the uh, Major High has been designing for five years now. And this is his first attempt at an RCR. And it's a bloody good one as well. Really, really enjoyed that. So don't forget guys, if you like the content, hit that like button. And I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching.